हेलो एवरीवन सो एज यू कैन सी दिस क्वेश्चन इज फ्रॉम लीनियर डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन विथ कॉन्स्टेंट कोफिशन सो बेसिकली वी हैव फोर स्टेप्स टू सॉल्व दिस क्वेश्चन फर्स्ट स्टेप इज टू फाइंड द ऑक्जिलरी इक्वेशन सॉल्व इट फाइंड द वैल्यूज ऑफ एम सेकेंड स्टेप इज टू राइट द कॉम्प्लीमेंट्री फंक्शन थर्ड स्टेप इज टू फाइंड द पर्टिकुलर इंटीग्रल and the fourth and the final step is to write the final solution which is y equals to complementary function plus the particular integral so as i have told you let's move to that step one by one first step in order to find the auxiliary equation just you have to do one thing replace this d by m so you'll get m square plus 1 Equate it to zero. This is only your auxiliary equation. Solve it. So m square equals to minus one. M equals to plus minus iota. So if you want to write separately, so m one and m two are there. M will m one will be zero plus iota. M two will be zero minus iota. Now this is clearly of the form a plus iota b and a minus iota b. So in case this is there, your complementary function is. e power a x c one cos b x plus c two sine b x fine. So we'll do the same. You write the complementary function as e power a here is zero. So e power zero x c one cos b here is one. One into iota. Okay, so c one cos x plus c two sine x. Now, as you can see, e power zero is one. So you can write your complementary function as c one cos x plus c two sine x. Two steps have been completed. Now we are coming back to the coming forward to the third step, which is to find the particular integral. so general format is 1 upon function of d function of d here is d square plus 1 this will operate on whatever is in rhs what is in rhs cos x so i have uh, taught you the rule for this so in case the rhs is cos x or sin x we just replace d square by Minus of a square. Remember, not by minus a whole square. This is incorrect. Minus of a square. And in case the denominator becomes zero after this substitution, you multiply by one x outside the operator, differentiate the denominator, and again do the same thing. So particular integral is now as I can see, if I uh, replace d square by a here is one. So minus of uh, Minus of a square that is one. So if I do this, my denominator is becoming zero. So as I told, multiply one x outside the operator. Now, uh, let me give some time to emphasize on this. What is multiplying outside and inside? Let's see. Suppose you have d by dx of x square. Now, uh, first is if I multiply inside the operator. So Multiplication of uh, I will do by x in both. So if I multiply by x inside operator, it will be something like this. So this can easily be written as d by dx of x cube, which is three x square. Now if someone does a mistake and multiplies outside the operator, so this will be x into d by dx of. In this step only, I am doing the changes. So if I multiply outside the operator, d by dx of x square. You know that d by dx of x square is two x, so x into two x, which is two x square. You are, as you can see, in both the steps, the result you are getting is different. Okay, so that's why I told the x which we are multiplying here is outside the operator. So x into now differentiate this. So get, with respect to d, so you get two d. That derivative of one is zero. This cos x no differentiation. Let it remain as it is. Now, again apply the same rule which I told. D square by minus of a square. You can uh, follow two path here. I am telling the both path. First, uh, you can uh, what you can do. It's come. 
in exam or uh, if you are uh, solving you can uh, choose any of the one step first step is as we all know that 1 by d is same as integral so i can write this as x by 2 outside 1 by d is same as integral cos x dx so integration of cos x is sin x okay so x by 2 sin x this becomes my particular integral now if someone was interested in solving by this so what could have been done multiply by d numerator and denominator so your particular integral becomes x outside d denominator you get 2d square cos x now if you replace this d square by minus 1 it will become minus 2 so this will become minus x by 2 into d of cos x now d is same as d by dx of cos x which we all know is minus sin x so minus sin x into minus so it will be x sin x divided by 2 so you are getting the same particular integral just choose any of them final solution final step is y equals to cf plus your pi so what is your cf uh, your cf was c1 cos x plus c2 sin x so c1 cos x plus c2 sin x plus your particular integral which is x sin x divided by so this is your final solution i hope you understood this smooth solution first step find the auxiliary equation this is uh, there for all the problems uh, like this okay so first step is find the auxiliary equation second complementary function now rules you have to know rules for complementary function and rules for particular integral Final solution as you all know CF plus P. So I hope you understood this problem. Uh, if you uh, don't know the rules, uh, you can go through any any of the lecture videos. I have also uh, put a lecture video on this where I have discussed the rules for complementary function as well as particular integral. You can ask for the same in comment box or you can check the playlist. Uh, same uh, 50 to 60 ordinary differential equation problems is there till now it will increase as the day progresses so i hope you will uh, go through that videos and learn the concept as to what are the rules for complementary function what are the rules for particular integral and these are the basic things which you need to know uh, which you have studied in basic calculus as well that what is the derivative of any function what is the integration of any function 1 by d is same as integral d is same as d by dx d2 is same as d2x d2 by dx squared so these are uh, the basic stuff which you need to know i hope you understood this problem thanks and have a very nice day